Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about Android architecture. So before going further, we'll first of all talk about that what is Android. So Android is one of the most popular smartphone operating system. So being an open source operating system, it's a first choice of developers as well as consumers. So Android actually runs on the top of the Linux and you can download Android source code from here from this URL that is source dot android dot com so once we know that what is android and now let's talk about its architecture so android architecture is actually divided into four layers so as i told you earlier that android runs on the top of the linux so our first layer would be linux kernel so you can see here that at the bottom our first layer is linux kernel and at the top our layer is application so application layer actually contains all the application ui that is interface like whatsapp facebook home phone browser everything we can see on android is actually present on application layer so right below the application layer there is one layer called as application framework layer so application framework layer contains application components like content providers activities activity managers, intent filters, etc. So our application, all the application which are present on the application layer actually make a contact with the application framework layer. And right below the application framework layer, there is one layer which is actually divided into two parts, libraries and Android runtime. So what these libraries are? So these are external libraries which are used for additional features or additional function. You can see here there is one library called as SQLite. So SQLite library is actually used for database and you can see here WebKit libraries, LibC libraries, SSL libraries. So these are the libraries which are actually used by some of the Android application and there is one also part called as Android runtime. So what it is? So Android runtime is actually an environment in which our Android application runs. But you know that what is Android application is? So Android application is just a Dalvik executable file. So if you don't know that what is Dalvik executable file, so I will clear this term in the next video when we will talk about Android application development cycle. But one thing we just have to know is that Android application is Dalvik executable file. So you can see here that in this layer Android runtime, it consists of two components, core libraries and Dalvik virtual machine. So Dalvik virtual machine is actually responsible of running our Dalvik executable application that is Android application. So this layer contains all the necessary features which are actually needed in order to run our Android application and at the bottom there is one layer called as Linux kernel. So this layer is actually responsible of allocating various hardware to all our Android application and this layer contains all our drivers. So this is how Android architecture looks like and in this video we talked about that what is Android and how Android architecture works. So thanks for watching this video.